Well, I guess we'll need some axes. All right, so here are the axi, and we're going to need a table on this one. Where we have an x and f of x, and if we have the five basic values that we usually find, we should be good. So when x is 0, 1, and 2, negative 1 and negative 2, it should tell us enough about the graph to know what it should look like. All right, so I'm going to fill these in. Again, you can find it on the calculator, right? Like this one would be e to the power of 2. And the button you're looking for should actually have that e to the power of x on it, okay? Uh, you may have to push it, it maybe a yellow button or a blue button. Maybe it says second. So for some of you, it, should, it may look something like this. Uh, so you may have to push second first. And then after second, I want to say that it should be... Uh, yeah, sometimes it's an LN button, so the natural log. Thank you. Uh, sometimes, I want to say maybe it's this one. Maybe not. Just depends on your calculator, all right? Uh, if you do have to push second, e to the power of x won't be on a specific button. It will be right above it in that different color, whatever that second button color is in. So here are the values. All right, so these are the values that I get. Wait, hold on. Yeah, I, I did that backwards. Hold on. Sorry. Ah, that looks much better. Um, <laughs> well, this is great. Notice I just rounded to the tenths because on my graph, I'm not very good at rounding to the hundredths anyways. So maybe you are, and that's okay, but I'm going to stick with this. So I got x is negative 1 and 2, and we did 1 and 2 here. We can move those out since we're just doing this freehand as well. Something like this. And our f of x value goes up, or y value goes up to 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 would be fine. And we know it goes through 0, 1. So I use this point. And... Negative 1 and 0.4, we'll say is about right there. How do you do the negative 1 calculator? So negative 2 and 0.1, and the other ones. And this would be pretty good for the graph that I've been drawing freehand. And it should give us, again, it's going to get very close to 0, but never actually equal to 0. And it will never cross that, so... You guys remember what to do when you miss the line? Make the make the point bigger. <laughs> so that way we don't have to redo this thinking thing. thing.